Hey everyone, my name is John and I work for the Children's Museum Houston. You usually find me working in How Does It Work in the museum at the science station there, doing some sort of science activity, but always in this bright green shirt. And my position and that exhibit are both sponsored by Flint Hills Resources. They sponsor me to do my science activities at the museum and also while I'm at home, recording some at home science experiments for you guys to follow along. So today we are going to look into plate tectonics and how they function and what they can kind of cause on Earth's surface. So to do this experiment, you'll need a few things. You'll need some styrofoam blocks. These are gonna be our plates that are moving on Earth's mantle. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like. We're gonna use a water tank um, or you can use a big bowl, either one either one will work. And honestly, you probably don't need styrofoam, but it just helps because it floats really easily. So you could try out some different materials that uh, might float like these styrofoam blocks. So we'll get that set up and we'll start experimenting. Okay, so now that we have our tank in place and our plates floating, on our water, we're gonna envision these as different things now. So we're gonna picture this that I've dyed a little bit red as magma. So this is Earth's mantle. This is what our lithospheric plates are floating on. So these are your continental and oceanic plates that are basically sitting and moving on Earth's mantle. So we're gonna look at a couple boundaries using this tank experiment, one is going to be a convergent boundary. So at a convergent boundary, you have two plates. We'll picture these as maybe two continental plates colliding. And when they collide, they actually will rise and form usually mountains. This is where we get something like the Himalayas, where we have Mount Everest. Now, if they're not converging, another boundary is called subduction. So in a subduction boundary, what happens is one plate will go, will subduct and go underneath the other plate. And when it's doing that, it's causing a big trench and also an avenue for magma to reach the surface. And so a very popular trench on Earth's surface is called the Marianas Trench. That is actually the deepest point in all of the ocean. So definitely check that out when you guys have, have a second. But using, using water, you can demonstrate kind of how the mantle acts because the mantle acts like a fluid, just, just like our water. But we can do this really easy experiment to show how a couple different boundaries for our plates on Earth's surface act. So using the water tank, we were able to show both convergent and subduction boundaries. Now, what's a little easier to see using just construction paper is a convergent boundary. Now, something that happens and has happened in history is at the convergent boundary, it's actually bending up. So it's a little hard to show with the foam, but what's happening is this shows you that when two plates come together and they're being pushed up. That's how we form a lot of our major mountain chains, like the Rocky Mountains that you can find in the Western United States and the Himalayas and the Andes. So hopefully you can think about mountains a little differently now and trenches a little differently now that you know that they're all being formed by moving plates that are beneath us as I do this video. So hopefully you guys were able to follow along and do this the experiment alongside me and we'll catch you on our next at home video.